In the vastness of space, a powerful eye has been looking back in time. The James Webb Space Telescope has made a stunning discovery. Six ancient galaxies that formed when the universe was only a billion years old. These galaxies are so distant and faint that they have eluded detection until now. What secrets do they hold about the origins of stars, planets, and life? How did they survive the harsh conditions of the early cosmos? And what can they tell us about our own place in the universe? Join us as we explore these questions and more in this thrilling journey to the edge of creation. Hello and welcome to another video of Spaceverse. Today we have a mind-blowing story to share with you. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful and advanced space observatory ever built, has detected evidence of ancient galaxies that could shatter our understanding of the origin and evolution of the universe. These galaxies are so massive and so old that they should not exist according to the current theories of cosmology. How do they form? What do they tell us about the early history of the universe? And what does this mean for the Big Bang Theory, the most widely accepted model of how the universe began? We will try to answer these questions and more in this video, but first let me tell you a bit more about this amazing telescope and what it can do. The James Webb Space Telescope is a joint project of NASA, ESA, and CSA. It was launched in December 2021 and is currently orbiting the Sun at a distance of about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. It has a huge mirror that is 6.5 meters in diameter, which is about seven times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope's mirror. This allows it to collect more light and see fainter and more distant objects than ever before. But what makes James Webb Space Telescope truly unique is its ability to see in infrared light, which is invisible to our eyes, but can penetrate through dust and gas that block visible light. This means that James Webb Space Telescope can see things that Hubble and other telescopes cannot, such as the heat radiation from the Big Bang, the formation of the first stars and galaxies, and the birth of planets around other stars. One of the main goals of James Webb Space Telescope is to look back in time and observe the earliest stages of the universe, when it was only a few hundred million years old. This is a crucial period for understanding how the universe evolved from a hot and dense state to the rich and diverse cosmos we see today. And James Webb Space Telescope has already made some stunning discoveries that could change our view of this cosmic history. To find out more, let me remind you of a Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted model of how the universe began and evolved. It is based on observations of the expanding universe, the cosmic microwave background radiation, and the abundance of light elements. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe started from a very hot and dense state about 13.8 billion years ago. This state was so extreme that the laws of physics as we know them did not apply. Then something triggered a rapid expansion of space and time, which we call inflation. This expansion stretched and cooled down the universe, making it more suitable for matter and energy to exist. As the universe expanded and cooled down further, it went through different phases of matter and energy. The first phase was dominated by radiation, which consisted of photons and other particles that interacted with each other very strongly. The second phase was dominated by matter, which consisted of protons, neutrons, electrons, and other particles that formed atoms and molecules. The third phase was dominated by dark energy, which is a mysterious force that causes the universe to accelerate its expansion. The Big Bang Theory also predicts that the first stars and galaxies formed from tiny fluctuations in the density and temperature of matter and radiation. These fluctuations were amplified by gravity, which made them collapse into denser regions, 
These regions became hotter and brighter as they contracted, eventually igniting nuclear fusion reactions that produced light and heat. These were the first stars, which clustered together to form the first galaxies. These stars and galaxies were the ancestors of all the stars and galaxies we see today, including our own Sun and Milky Way galaxy. In the previous segment, we learned about the Big Bang Theory and how it describes the origin and evolution of the universe. But what if I told you that this theory might be wrong, or at least incomplete? That's right, the James Webb Space Telescope has made a discovery that could challenge our understanding of how the universe began and evolved. It has spotted six massive ancient galaxies that should not exist according to the current theories of cosmology. These galaxies are so old and so huge that they defy our expectations of what the early universe looked like. Let me explain why. The James Webb Space Telescope has been observing the distant universe with its infrared vision, looking for the first stars and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. It has detected what appear to be six massive ancient galaxies that date back to when the universe was just 3% of its current age, about 13.5 billion years ago. These galaxies are so far away that their light has taken almost the entire age of the universe to reach us, so we see them as they were in the past. Now you might think that these galaxies would be small and simple, because they had very little time to grow and evolve. But you would be wrong. These galaxies are surprisingly large and complex, containing tens to hundreds of billions of sun-sized stars worth of mass. That's comparable to our own Milky Way galaxy, which is much younger and has had much more time to develop. How did these galaxies get so big so fast? That's the mystery. According to the standard theories of cosmology, the early universe was very smooth and uniform, with only tiny fluctuations in density and temperature. These fluctuations were amplified by gravity over time, causing matter to clump together and form stars and galaxies. But this process was slow and gradual, and it should have taken billions of years for massive galaxies to emerge. The existence of these six massive ancient galaxies suggests that there was another way for galaxies to form, or that there was something else going on in the early universe that we don't understand yet. These galaxies are so unexpected and problematic for the Big Bang Theory that astronomers are calling them universe breakers. They break our picture of how the universe started and evolved, and they force us to rethink our assumptions and models. They also open up new questions and possibilities about our cosmic origins and destiny. What else is out there that we haven't seen yet? What can these galaxies tell us about the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which make up most of the universe? And what does this mean for our place in the cosmos? These are some of the questions that we hope to answer with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope. You might be wondering why these six massive ancient galaxies are so surprising and problematic for the Big Bang Theory. Well, let me tell you why. These galaxies are not just old and big, they are too old and too big for what we expected to see in the early universe. They date to a time when the universe was just 3% of its current age, about 13.5 billion years ago. That means they formed only about 500 million to 700 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still very young and hot. How did they manage to grow so large and mature in such a short time? That's the puzzle. According to the Big Bang Theory, the early universe was very smooth and uniform, with only tiny fluctuations in density and temperature. These fluctuations were amplified by gravity over time, causing matter to clump together and form stars and galaxies. But this process was slow and gradual, and it should have taken billions of years for massive galaxies to emerge. The largest galaxies we see today, like our own Milky Way galaxy, are the result of many mergers and interactions of smaller galaxies over a long period of time. They contain tens to hundreds of billions of sun-sized stars worth of mass, which is a lot of matter to accumulate and organize. But these six massive ancient galaxies seem to have skipped all these steps and jumped straight to the end result. They contain tens to hundreds of billions of sun-sized stars worth of mass, putting them on par with the Milky Way. 
They also appear to be very red, which means they are old and have stopped forming new stars. How did they get so old and so red so fast? That's another mystery. These galaxies are so out of place and out of sync with the Big Bang Theory that they challenge our understanding of how the universe began and evolved. They suggest that there was another way for galaxies to form, or that there was something else going on in the early universe that we don't understand yet. They break our picture of how the universe started and evolved, and they force us to rethink our assumptions and models. They are truly universe breakers. The discovery of six massive ancient galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope has huge implications and consequences for our understanding of how the earliest galaxies formed and how the universe evolved. These galaxies are not just old and big, they are too old and too big for what we expected to see in the early universe. They challenge our current theories of cosmology which are based on observations of the expanding universe, the cosmic microwave background radiation, and the abundance of light elements. These theories tell us that the early universe was very smooth and uniform, with only tiny fluctuations in density and temperature. These fluctuations were amplified by gravity over time, causing matter to clump together and form stars and galaxies. But this process was slow and gradual, and it should have taken billions of years for massive galaxies to emerge. So how did these six massive ancient galaxies form so quickly and become so mature? That's the big question that scientists are trying to answer. There are two possible scenarios. Either we have misunderstood something about the galaxies themselves, or we have misunderstood something about the early universe. Let's explore both possibilities. One possibility is that we have misunderstood something about the galaxies themselves. Maybe they are not as massive or as old as they appear. Maybe they are closer to us than we think, or maybe they have some unusual properties that make them look brighter or redder than they really are. Maybe they are not even galaxies at all, but some other kind of objects that we have not seen before. These are some of the possibilities that scientists are testing with more observations and analysis. Another possibility is that we have misunderstood something about the early universe. Maybe there was another way for galaxies to form, or maybe there was something else going on in the early universe that we don't understand yet. Maybe there was more matter or energy available in the early universe than we thought, or maybe there was some unknown force or mechanism that accelerated the growth of galaxies. Maybe these six massive ancient galaxies are just the tip of the iceberg, and there are many more hidden in the depths of space. Whatever the answer is, it could require scientists to revisit whether some basic rules of cosmology, or the understanding of how the first galaxies were seeded from small clouds of stars and dust. It could also open up new avenues of research and discovery for astronomy and science. These six massive ancient galaxies are not just universe breakers, they are also universe makers, because they could help us make a better picture of how the universe started and evolved. In this video, we have learned about the amazing discovery of six massive ancient galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope. These galaxies are so old and so huge that they should not exist according to the current theories of cosmology. They challenge our understanding of how the earliest galaxies formed and how the universe evolved. They also raise new questions and possibilities about our cosmic origins and destiny. This discovery is a testament to the power and potential of the James Webb Space Telescope, which is opening new windows into the distant past and revealing new mysteries about our cosmic origins. It is also a reminder of how much we still don't know about the universe and how much we have yet to learn. It is an invitation to explore and discover more with curiosity and wonder. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on astronomy and space exploration. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this discovery and what you would like to see next. Until next time, keep looking up.